Hello everyone, my name is Caden and welcome back to more Persona 4 Golden. Last time we saved Nauto and uh, I've learned that the case is still not yet complete. This time it is now raining so the fog will come so let's go check out the TV. So it's midnight. The fog's coming. The fog is set in. All right. Let's take a look. No one's appearing on the Midnight Channel. Since Naoto's been rescued, it seems the killer was thwarted this time. Mm. Meanwhile, in the foggy shopping district. Damn it. Again. Again. All right, Naoto, I think it's your turn to actually wake up. Hmm? Naoto! Are you feeling better now? Yes, thanks to all of you. I'd like to thank you once again for what happened. Don't mention it, but hey, your uniform. Huh? Ah, uh, yes. Oh, yeah. She's technically wearing the guy's uniform, still. After contemplating the matter, I went with what I've been wearing thus far. There's no need for you to... Eh, it don't matter. Hey, it's the Detective Prince. That's no Prince. I heard he's a she. Well, then consider the title change to Detective Princess. Still huh? has a good ring to it. Y you serious? If he's a she, then... Oh, oh crap! Uh, kind of disappointed, but then again, there's something neat about it. Yeah, if you look at it a certain way, doesn't she seem pretty cool? Very cool. Detectives are always cool. What are you talking my, about? My, my. Rumors spread so quickly. Yeah. Eh, just ignore them. Yes. I'm myself, right? Yeah. That's what matters, right? That aside... I'd like to discuss the case with you all. Fair enough. We're dealing with a kidnap and murder case perpetrated by someone lurking in this very town. And it isn't over yet. Mm -hmm. Let's go over the finer points after school. We shall indeed. At least we've now got a proper detective on our side to help. Juno's food court. Welcome to the team, Alto. First, Hato. I heard the doorbell ring. Oh. But when I opened the front door, I saw no one there. Just as alarm bells sounded in my mind, someone grabbed me roughly from behind and covered my mouth with something. So whoever the kidnapping killer is, they're at least brave enough to do it during, like, brave enough to at least announce that they're there by ringing the doorbell. Immediately afterward, I was put into something like a sack and most likely carried on the culprit's shoulder. Wow, how could you remember all that? She was probably trying her hardest to remember it, considering the otherwise her gambit would have been pointless. The culprit seems to have used a chemical to incapacitate me, but luckily I wasn't completely unconscious. Mm. I had been expecting a trick along those lines, so I was somewhat prepared. And of course, I was desperate to gather as much information as I could. Well, it's definitely helpful to know that they're pretty brave. No wonder you're an ace detective! My point exactly, Daddy. That ain't something to be proud of. You are too damn calm about all I mean, this. she probably is a bit too calm, but hey. Judging by their actions and body type, I'd say the culprit is definitely a man. Okay. I heard no conversations or voices, so I believe he is acting alone. So lone male acting alone. It's after that that things get murky. Probably because at that point you get thrown into the TV. I felt a single impact, which I assume is when I was thrown inside the TV. Yeah. But the time from kidnapping to that point seemed too short. It was a matter of minutes. Hmm. Well, that leads to only two conclusions then. Either they would maybe use your own TV to throw you into, or they have a way of bringing their own TV from location to location. So you were immediately thrown inside the TV after being kidnapped. So the TV would, of course, have to be close by. Again, either it's one that's already at the, uh, the kidnapped house or just brought along somehow. Oh, could there have been a 
TV on the side of the road? Uh. Regrettably, my memory from there on is a blur. I see. But man, the killer came right up to the door and rang the bell? That's just crazy. I finally understand why you all testified that you couldn't recall much of what happened. Yeah. Such a bizarre experience with mental and physical fatigue on top of it. It's only natural to be confused. Indeed. And going by the surrounding circumstances, my kidnapping and everyone else's were near identical. There is no question that the culprit is the same in each case. Mm. So, that Mitsuo boy who said he killed King Moron... He didn't have anything to do with the other two victims or anyone else. The only thing he did was kill... Oh, King Moron. Although, now that I think about it, that presents its own big glaring point of problems. Specifically being... How did he get into the TV? I mean... Does he have the same power? Although, he doesn't have a persona either, though. Everything makes sense now. I can't say for sure until I gather more concrete evidence. At the very least, we know that Mitsuo only killed King Moron, and that's final. It's just a matter of how exactly did he end up in the TV world. But Mitsuo Kubo's only victim was Mr. Moraoka. It was a copycat killing that mimicked the true culprit's method. No wonder King Moron's death broke the pattern in so many ways. Because it wasn't part of a pattern to begin with. The question remains, though, as to how Kubo learned of that world. Exactly. It could be a case like mine where he could have just had that power. I mean, we didn't have a persona before we were able to go into the TV world. Like, there was that during the first night when we uh, first experienced the TV. The Midnight Channel, we were able to stick our hand in without actually having our persona awakened, so maybe it's something similar to that. Although then again, that presents its own problem of why was I even able to do that? Sure, it could be the same thing that allowed Mitsuo to do it, but assuming it was the same thing, why would either of us be allowed to do it? That's it! That's what was bothering me! Oh yeah, you did say something was annoying you. Mitsuo could enter the TV, right? Then why didn't he kill King Moron that way? Now that I think about it, though, he didn't actually seem to... He, didn't... he seemed surprised when we took him out of the TV world, right? I believe he didn't understand the other world as well as the true culprit. Mm, probably not. Even though I can now enter it myself, it wouldn't occur to me to use it for murder. That's because you're a good person. <laughs> and remember, the previous corpses left no sign that their deaths had anything to do with the other world. That does kind of leave me to wonder, what exactly is it that, like, what ends up being the cause of death? I mean, I guess their body just functionally stops when they die in the TV world. After Kubo became wanted, leaving him with nowhere to run, he probably thought for the first time, what if I put my entire body into the TV? Hmm. The bizarre condition of the corpses that caused such commotion is probably because they died on the other side. Whatever happens in the other world can't exactly be uh, identified. It's a simpler explanation than figuring out why the killer would risk disposing of the bodies in such a way. Which means their inexplicable condition of being hung on a foggy day wasn't due to the culprit making a statement. It's simply how they appear because of... It's basically because... That's just what happens when they're thrown into the TV. Once they're killed in the TV, the TV world throws them back out into a random location and they're hung up. Much of our speculation could be tested if we could ask Kubo in person. However... That's not an option, is it? I've unfortunately been taken off the investigation. Not surprising. And I highly doubt that the police will believe any of this. I mean, the police believe the case is over with with Mitsuo, right? They wouldn't admit that it wasn't Mitsuo in the first place. That would mean having to open up the whole case again, which uh, would be a bag of worms they don't want to do. Once you've said something on TV, it's not easy to admit you were wrong. I believe the primary cause of my dismissal was because I raised that possibility to them. Mm. The police won't readily concede that they made false charges. All the more so if the accused is a juvenile. Yeah. In fact, the overwhelming sentiment with the police force is to end this case with his arrest. It's a bunch of bullshit. Even if it's possible there's another killer? Those dickheads. I had a feeling that would be the case. Not that I trusted him in the first place. Mm. 
But, uh, Naoto, if you were that calm when it happened to you, couldn't you have, you know... Are you suggesting she could have stopped him all on her own? I'm not saying you should have caught him, but isn't it kind of sad for an ace detective to go down that easily? She's still a kid. Um, um, to tell you the truth, I was really scared. I mean, who wouldn't be? I I'm sorry. It can't be helped. I was about to say, you can't... <laughs> None of us could resist the culprit either. Don't forget, Naoto-kun is younger than us, and she's a girl. I mean, look at the arms. She frail. Oh yeah, that's true. I keep forgetting when I see her talking like this. You know, Naoto? What is it? You got balls. For a girl. Okay. Regardless. <laughs> Thank you. I have no doubt Thank you, that the Yosuke, culprit I will guess. continue with his attacks. We can only watch and wait for him to make the next move. But this is no longer a mere job or someone else's affair. I want to know the truth of why we were targeted. Hmm. Please allow me to join your effort. I'd be more confident if you did join us, so please, of course. Thank you very much. I'll do my best, leader. Naoto's joined the group. She'll definitely be a strong asset in solving the case. Rank 8. Since I'm the king of the geniuses, I knew it would work out this way. You already have a pair of glasses prepared? Ta-da! Now Chan's glasses! Yippee! Thank you. Glasses. They told me about you, Teddy. Yeah. I can sympathize with your drive to find yourself. If I may help in any way, let me know. No. Wow, what a nice girl. The true culprit is still large. For now, you'll just have to wait for them to make the next move. One step at a time. Oh, welcome home, big bro. Hello. Work as a tutor, we work as a janitor. So now I believe, yes, we can actually look at Naoto. Oh, the Kuna Hikona. Uh, has no weaknesses and is a bit of a jack of all trades by the uh, looks of it because she because it has Agidine, has physical, Gabudine, Mudun, Hameon, Megidola. So, yeah, a little bit of every attack, like a lot of different elements it can use. <laughs> Pretty handy, honestly. Also, I think my favorite part about this is the fact that Naoto's weapon is just a full on pistol. <laughs> Who gave this child a pistol? I don't know. But it's just a full-on pistol. There's there's no joke there. There's no like there's no like this is a fake pistol like it was in Persona 5. No, this is just a real gun, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> you open the fridge. There's a piece of shortcake covered it with a huge blob of whipped cream. I'm good. You left it alone. Alright, let's go hang out with uh Let's go hang out with our our good old pal the tower. Shoe. Yo shoe. Earn money. Oh, Nato. Excuse me. Yo. What's up? What you need? Do you have time after school today? Uh, sure. Did something happen? No. Rather, I'd like to have a doctor examine Teddy. This is very sudden. What? Is he okay? A doctor? You mean a vet? <laughs> the normal kind, actually. <laughs> He's not a bear. <laughs> if you're free, I've scheduled a checkup for him after school today. A thorough physical examination might be a good first step in figuring out what Teddy is. Wow, you're actually really ser serious about helping Teddy figure out who he is. Good on you. Uh, sure, I guess. And I thought it might be a good idea for the rest of us to get checkups as well. Eh? Yeah. Really? We should see if the fog over there or the power we've gained have had any negative effects on our health. I guess that's fair. Since you all have been active on the other side far longer than I have, you should definitely be examined. Negative effects? D don't 
drop scary stuff on us like it's nothing. Yeah. Yeah, I never even thought about that. I mean, Teddy did say that the fog's not good for you in that world, so uh, maybe it's a safe bet to... I've arranged to have Kanji-kun and Rise-san looked at as well. All right. Wow, you're on the ball about all this. Are you sure you're not an adult? Her height's a big giveaway, though. Why is it the youngest ones in this game are the most responsible? Feels like Nanako, Naoto. Well, I'll see you all after school. All right. Did we go into the hospital after school at Naoto's recommendation? All righty. Everyone underwent a thorough physical at the hospital Naoto recommended. That was just an ordinary checkup. Eh, never hurts to be safe. I was kind of looking forward to getting into some gigantic machine and being spun around. Why am I the exact same person as Kanji? Was there really a point to this? The doctors look confused too. Oh, they're back. I mean, better safe than sorry. Who knows if this was like lowering our lifespan. I'm very sorry for the wait. I'm very sorry for the wait. Thank you, Teddy. So did they find out anything about Teddy? They did indeed. They found out that they can't tell anything about him. Uh. I even had them take an x-ray, but nothing came up on it. What? No matter how many times they tried, it would always be too blurry to read. Oh, that's concerning. Teddy, do you have normal organs? A visual examination and standard palpations indicated that he seems perfectly normal. It's just, we don't know if he has insides? Kind of like his bear suit now I think about it. Teddy, has your human skin got a zipper on it somewhere? Since the machine could be malfunctioning, they told me to try another hospital if we're still worried about him. They're, they're, be they're not very, like a smaller Teddy in there somewhere. I felt bad for making them go through all this. So he is different. Oh my, what should I do? I don't know. They took a look at everything inside me. Don't make it weird. She just said they couldn't see anything on the x-ray, you dork. But at least they didn't find anything wrong with them, right? I guess that's the important thing. Man, we know as much about Teddy as we do those personas and shadows. Oh yeah, I tried looking them up at the library and on the net. Persona means something like another personality. It's a facade. And I think they listed shadow under the related terms. Hmm. Shadows are shadows. I think there's something that comes out of people. Well, we know you're right on that much. Um, I can't really explain. It's all good. I performed my own research after the incident. Persona and shadow are common psychological terms. Hmm. Of course, the ones we are familiar with don't quite fit those definitions. They're more like physical variants of those definitions in a way. This is what was written in an unofficial project document that I happened to come across. Unofficial? A shadow is suppressed power, and when controlled by one's ego, it becomes a persona. Well, it adds up with what we've seen, so I'd say that's pretty accurate. It becomes a persona? What does that mean? They're, they're basically the same thing? Well, first off, A, thank you for giving me the, the pleasure of seeing that silly face again. Second off, I mean, that adds up with what we've seen. Every time we beat someone's shadow and they accept it, it turns into their persona. Uh, like yours, Kanji, it turned into Take Mikazuchi. Well, then again, all those shadows we beat the shit out of did turn into personas. Exactly. <sighs> Who cares about the details? It doesn't matter what they are. If they get in our way, I'll crush them. Still, I couldn't find any information on how they're related to the other world. I don't think you'll find anything regarding the other world. <sighs> There's so much stuff about us that we don't have a clue about. There's some things we do know, though. Hmm? Mm hmm I got a bunch of awesome data with me. Teddy, what did you do? It's kind of embarrassing that I'm the only one who had personal details shown to the world, so... Hmm? Ta-da! Teddy, what do you have? Nowadays, information wants to be free. Teddy? Therefore, I'll break the ice by announcing the results of everyone's physical exams. Teddy! Drop it. What? No, you won't! Give him to me now! Get him! Ooh. Stop him! First place in the shortest legs uh. division is... Huh, who would have guessed? Uh... 
My bet's on Yosuke. It's not me, is it? Hey, what kind of things did they examine anyway? My bet's on you, Yosuke. Look, if you're gonna blab at all, you might as well tell us the girl's measurements. Yosuke. Um. What? Are you a complete nutter moron? Okay, A, yes. B, Frise, why didn't you get surprised? Sure, go right ahead. My profile's been public knowledge for ages. That's why. Oh, but my bus size is two centimeters smaller than they print. My agency insisted. Huh? No! Don't say mine! Ah, I bet guys won't care what size you are, senpai. I don't think that's the issue and here. having modestly sized breasts like yours would definitely make it easier to wear a kimono. Is this the conversation you want to be having with guys around? What? Naltokun's in here too, huh? <laughs> um, let's see. Naltokun's is. It will never not be funny to me that Nauto and Kanji are the ones who react to that. Huh? What do you Is this for real? Wait, isn't this measured wrong? Well, whatever it is, it made you turn into Ryuji for a second. Uh, anyways. Uh, the important thing is that according to the examination results, nothing's wrong with our health. So we won't be needing these in- I'm going to go shred them. Yeah, that's probably for the best. We. Uh, well, thank goodness everyone's healthy. Exactly. Y you're right. Let's go home. Okie dokie. Hey, Teddy. After all that, they found out nothing about me. I wonder what I really am. I'd say you're just our friend. I don't really care. There's always... We'll find out together, man. Don't worry about yeah. it. Yeah. Thanks, Sensei. All that matters to me is that you're a friend. He's gazing at you with gratitude in his eyes. Rank six. Today's growth of hearts affects his persona. Maracunda. Maracunda is for defense on all foes down. I'm going to regret this in the future. I can already tell, but I want to get rid of Medea Anma. I can already tell I'm going to regret that in the future, but I want... I feel like I'm going to have Teddy be mostly like... Hey! If you don't hurry, we're going to leave you guys behind! Yeah, yeah. I feel like I want Teddy to mostly be buff and debuff guy. I feel like that's what purpose I find most... I don't know. You're Bidding. Back. Midterm start next Friday. Study. I'm not worried about him. I mean, after all, my perf my knowledge is at max. Anyways, read a book. Uh, catching bugs. Basics of, basics of bug, bug catching are explained here, along with a funny item took from the author. We can now potentially catch more bugs. Rain, rain. <sighs> Good morning, senpai. Hello. Exam start, exam start next Friday, but I am just not in the mood for schoolwork. The true killer is someone else. We're the only ones who know that. If we don't act, the case will grind to a halt. I mean, tests are important too, though. I'm not saying they aren't. I'm just, I'm feeling anxious. We're the only ones with the ability to solve this case, and yet we have no way to act. Anyway... We can only wait for the culprit to make his move. We must not forget to check the Midnight Channel, too. This is a crucial moment. I know. Don't want to screw it up now. Good morning, everyone. Guess what? We're going to have exams at the end of next week. I hope that nobody in here is being an ostrich and goofing around and without us doing any studying. Why did I say ostrich? Because it's a common metaphor with, for somebody who avoids inconvenient truths. It comes from the common mistake and belief that ostriches bury their heads in the sand in the face of oncoming danger. To feel safe hey, just because you don't, you can't see the problem, a sure sign of escaping from reality. Don't be like a fake ostrich. There's another kind of bird, though, that has a cowardly connotation in English. Lay it on me, Seven. <laughs> be, be brave. Tell me what a bird's name means in... Tell me what bird names... Bird's name means coward in English. Chicken. All right, that's correct. Chicken is a word for coward in English. There are many theories as to why. Now you get goosebumps when you're scared. 
it looks like, it's like a deep feathered chicken skin. Wait, then why are they called goosebumps and not chicken bumps? It doesn't really matter. The point is, you need to face reality and fully prepare for your test next week. After school. Yo! Oh, it's freezing! Put on a jacket. Why are we getting together on the roof on a day like this? Uh, it also looks like it's Yosuke who's asking everybody. Yeah, what's this urgent business about, Yosuke-senpai? Seriously! I was busy handing out flyers at Juness! I was actually about to say, wait a minute, you whatever this urgent business is, it even requires Teddy. Hey, I saw you hitting on girls just outside the school gate. Bruh. Was there some kind of progress in the case? Uh, I need you guys. You have to help me. You're the only ones I can rely on. What happened? Can you please keep this weekend open? Okay. This weekend? Does this have anything to do with that event at the Inaba police station that's been canceled? Event? What are you talking about? What are you talking about? The idol Konami Mashita was scheduled to be the honorary chief this Sunday. Oh my gosh! The famous Kahneman is coming all the way out to the boonies! Kahneman, huh? So she's taking on jobs like that already. I have been seeing a lot of her on TV lately. I didn't know she belonged to the same agency as you, Risei-chan. I mean, if she's coming to Inaba now, the agency's obviously trying to use all the fuss about me to their favor. Yeah. So what's the big deal about that being cancelled, Yosuke-senpai? It... stuff got pushed onto you, didn't it? There was going to be a big sale at Juness to take advantage of the event, but now it's down the tubes! Damn. It's not a joke! <laughs> The police took forever to decide on canceling the event. My dad's really in a fix now. He worked so hard to put this whole thing together, and I can't stand to see him like this. I can't just let it go. Aw. I heard that the police couldn't prepare for the event because I had gone missing. No. I'm sorry. This is my fault. No. No, it's not your fault. Don't blame yourself. But yeah, it does seem like that's what happened. <laughs> okay, so you called us up here. What do you want us to do about it? Like, help at Juness, I guess. From the way it sounds, I gotta say, I don't think we can be much help. I was about to say, I'd love to help, but what do we do? I want everyone to help me with a bunch of different tasks. Um, Risha san, well, if you could, you know, do an event at Juness. Oh. You want me to substitute for Konami? So there's no way? <sighs> Is it really that bad? I don't know. I may be his son, but I'm still only a part-timer. But my dad's being awfully nice for some reason. I think it's possible that he might get fired if this thing falls through. Oh, uh... If that happens, I might have to transfer schools again. <laughs> Seriously, what am I gonna do if that happens? Well, we can't have that happen, considering we still need you. Uh... Singing and handshakes only. Oh. No autographs and nothing that I can't do as a high school student. Otherwise, I'll get in trouble. And I'll only do it if you all get on stage with me. Oh, dear. What? Wait! I'm no idol! Oh, boy. Quite the old ultimatum. It would be troublesome if people came to try to recruit me to be an idol. Me too! I already have an exclusive contract with Juness. Ah! I don't think you guys are worrying about the right things here. But if you're gonna sing, what are we supposed to do on stage? Dance? I need a band, of course. Oh. I'll make this very clear. I can't use pre-recorded tracks. Does anyone not here know how to play an instrument? Whoa, whoa! There's no way we can pull off something like that! I have some experience playing the keyboard. My uh. grandfather suggested that I take piano lessons when I was younger. Oh! I have one that I can bring as well. Huh. You're up for this? I was about to say, what? This incident is a result of my actions, after all. I will do whatever I can to help. Damn, thanks, Naoto. Naoto, thanks. All right. If it's music you need, I have a guitar. Never really played it, though. Yeah, we'll figure it out. Oh, wait. I accidentally bought a bass once. I think it's in storage. Uh... How do you accidentally buy something like that? I bet you just thought it was another guitar. I can believe that. Hmm. I should have some kind of musical instrument at my place for dinner parties and such. Yeah, this might work out, actually. Some kind of instrument? 
Oh boy. What do you got, Kanji? Then it's decided. I'll look for a song I can sing that can use a band arrangement. You guys get instruments and find a place to practice. Well, oh dear. Got it. Try to pick an easy one, okay? This is gonna turn out interesting, ain't it? All right. Now that this is happening, I'm getting fired up about it. Let's go ask if we can borrow the music room at school. All right. Ooh. So what are we going to do with these? I'm more curious about what Teddy's doing. I just grabbed whatever I could find that wasn't being used by the symphonic band. We got cymbals, guitar, trumpet, tambourine, a gong, drums, keyboard. That saxophone behind one of them? That? What's what? It's a gong. It's a gong. Well, duh. I'm pretty sure he meant to ask, what is that doing here? Do I use it? I thought Chie might want to play that. You know, it sounds kind of Chinese ish. I don't know if you use a gong for idle music. <sighs> um, I don't think that's going to really matter in this case. Teddy! Yosuke, try holding these! Huh? <laughs> I see. Maracas. Yeah, you do look like that when you're fighting. Try summoning your persona while you're holding those. Yes! All right. Persona! Wait, I can't summon it here. <laughs> the fact that it, it actually makes sound while he's moving. I'll choose this then. <laughs> look, look! Isn't this like my fan? Are you guys just choosing instruments that feel like your weapon? In that case, what the hell is Chie gonna use? He kicks! I think she's convinced we're playing for a dinner party at the inn. Come on, we need stuff like guitars instead of little backup instruments like these. Hey, I'll play the guitar. Look. Why don't you take the bass? I can at least teach you a little bit. All right. Must have. Oh, I never thought I'd hear you call me that. Check out these moves. I've got mad air guitar skills. Well then, since you two and Natsukun have decided what to play, let's put Kanji on drums. Okay. Hey, why don't I get to pick? If you're up front, it'll look like a metal band. <laughs> I think you'd be good at the drums. You're always hitting and stomping on things, after all. How does that make any sense? I don't know, but let's go with it. <laughs> then I will take over all the charming percussion accoutrement. Uh, Teddy, I don't know you can... I don't think you can use multiple at once. Hey, baby. I lay down the passionate beats that flow from my soul. Thank you, Teddy. Also, he's doing his weird hand thing again. So that leaves Yukiko and me? You two. Um, how about the chorus? There is a part for that. Singing? No, 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 can do. We'll hold something. Let's see. What looks easy? We. Hey, we all got some now. Oh, doesn't this at least look like a band? Eh, it works. Yeah, I don't think it looks bad at all. Oh dear. It's not doing anything. Oh dear. Is this thing broken? I'm blowing, but the air goes right through. Oh dear. That's how it is for everyone when they start out. Anyway, we don't have much time, so let's start practicing. Yeah, we don't have any time. What's with all the tadpoles on this paper? Oh God, this is gonna be a wreck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. You may want to start trying to think of another idea. Uh. I guess I'm gonna have to transfer <laughs> schools after all. No. I don't want to lose to my teammate. You all practice on your own until it gets dark. You decide to meet again tomorrow. I don't want to lose my boy. Oh, welcome home, big bro. Hello. Where is the tutor? Go to shopping district. Let's hang out. 
So I had to work as a tutor. Except you. Like this? this forms a circle here, with the radius equal to the base of the triangle, and the height is... Uh... He began to explain the problem to him in an easily understood manner. Expression. Um... What do you think of your school? It's boring. No kidding. I guess schools are like that everywhere. Chu nods to himself. Moving on to other matters. There's a transfer student in my class. He looks down on everything here and says we're all a bunch of hicks living in the boonies. Everyone ignores him. I mean, it is countryside. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. She laughs. I guess being out here is like being the proverbial frog in the well. Oh, uh, that's what he said. Uh, he was the frog because he, uh... Uh, he's from the city, and out here is the country, and, uh... School's a pain. All my classmates are stupid. The lessons they try to teach are absolutely pointless. Your lessons are a lot easier to understand. Well, I'm at least happy about that. It seems the shoe's slowly opening up to you. Your relationship is deepened. Rank 3. Oh, time's up. Uh, this is a good spot to finish, actually. So let's just end it for today. Take care now. You finished your tutoring job and went home. Money. Oh boy, here we go. Once more from the top. One, two, three, four. Oh God, it's horrible. It's horrible. Uh, what the hell is that? That wasn't me, I think. I'd be amazed if you could make that sound with a trumpet. That wasn't me either. I mean, I can't get any sound at all out of this. Oh, dear. A hip and young audience yearns for the element of surprise in music as well. It was steady. A bizarre sound suddenly rings out. An overturning of the expected cliches found in today's sound. You get it? No. <laughs> oh, I get it. That means Teddy did it, doesn't it? Indeed. Huh? That reaction overturned my expectations. Get him. Get him. Why don't we take a break? We've been at this since morning. Fair enough. Good idea. My fingers are all stiff. <sighs> nice follow up now, Chan. I think I'm falling for you. Oh, dear. Let's just ignore this bear. Indeed. This is going to be a nightmare. Are we really going to manage this? I'm starting to get the feeling that it's impossible no matter what we do. Yeah. There's just not enough time. Everyone is silent. Show some spirit. You really get into that do or die spirit sometimes. Show some spirit. But that seems fitting for him. That's right. Everything would have been for nothing if we give up now. We can't leave you. Let Yosuke leave. A real brawl doesn't begin until you got your back to a wall. I mean, this is a little different, but at the same time, I guess I can We're get it. We're here to start a band, not a fight club. I'll do it too. It's not just about Yosuke now. I'll simply feel angry at myself if I give up. Don't worry, Yosuke Senpai. I agreed to do this, so I'll do it. I didn't say anything pathetic like, I'll do what I can. I'm going to get a huge crowd, no matter what, and they will go home satisfied. Please, I just need your help to do it. Wow. Now that's how a pro delivers a team-boosting speech. There you go. <laughs> well then, should we resume our practice? Sure. All right, let's do this. What? I did it! I did it! So this isn't broken after all. Well, at least you're learning. Okay, let's try putting your music together and I'll sing along. Whoa, wait a sec. Can't we get a little more practice before we try doing that stuff? Playing for the real reset. I mean, I'm all for that. Don't think of it like that. 
I'm seeing how hard you're trying, and I don't want to just sit and watch you practice without me anymore. Here goes. One, two, three, four. Okay. Okay, that's better. That's at least better than what it was earlier, remember? <laughs> Alright, not bad. Didn't that sound pretty good? Considering you just had to learn this within like what, two, one, two days? That's not bad. <gasps> that was actual music! Impressive. Yeah, it felt good. It seems there's hope after all. You won't be leaving us, Yosuke. The band has practiced hard and overcome many obstacles that dared face them. But now is their time to truly shine. All they have to do is discard whatever remaining fear holds them back, and a lifetime of public adoration awaits! Yeah, he's got the spirit. Hell no! <laughs> We've already been on a TV show. A midnight one. Oh. Uh, oh dear. I was discarding my clothes more than I was discarding my fear. Oh dear, uh... For me, it was like discarding my public image anyway. Uh, everyone's down again. Come on, everyone. Let's cheer up, okay? Uh, <laughs> and you, you have a bunch of stuff lined up, but you're still only playing the tambourine. Hey, if it works, it works. <laughs> Haven't you heard the phrase, a clever bear conceals his claws? No. I'm going to play a special little bear formance of my own and charm all the girls. Daddy, if you screw this up, I'm killing you. That saying's about a hawk, not a bear. And don't even think about it. We don't have the skills to ad lib. Stick to the script. Do you understand me? We're doing this exactly like we practiced. Got it? What? Do it. If you don't, then I'll make sure you pay for all the topsicles you've eaten during breaks at work. Oh no. Just like we practiced. Got it. How many have you eaten off during break? Well, let's take it from the top one more time. Keep up that energy that we had before. All right. Go. Yep. Everyone's hard work is slowly taking shape. You, you practice late into the night for the actual performance tomorrow. How's Dojima gonna react to this and not go? Slightly worried about it. Welcome back. Hi there. Oh dear. I haven't bought anything. Time to shop. What do we got? Nice shoes and some massage jelly and some huge fish from dry ice. Just give me the second option, please. Alright, next up, we're going to read a book, Home Gardening. You begin reading Home Gardening. The book is full of tips on how to maintain a home garden for those who are just getting started. Your mouth waters to imagine the delicious vegetables you could grow as you turn the pages. Alright, the day of reckoning has arrived. Where's Yosuke? There's Yosuke. Crap! The crowd's a lot bigger than I expected! Oh well. Don't say stuff like that! You're making me even more nervous! Who's the guy on the left? Y'all just see light blue? Uh, are costumes okay? I mean, I mean, they're just our normal school uniforms. Even worse than the winter ones. They're the ones that look cool! What else could we have done? It's not like we have any costumes. The clothes we've been wearing all summer won't work as costumes, and since we'll be changing wardrobes tomorrow, it works out. Exactly. Oh, crap. I, I can't stop my legs from shaking. Don't think about it. You'll be hitting the skins more oh, God. than a bear! Knuckle boxer. He's moving faster. You, you shut your stupid bear trap. I don't need to hear this. You've been on TV before, right, now, Tokun? Aren't you used to this? You haven't said a word, though. You've been on TV, too. The last time I played for a crowd was a piano recital when I was young. Doing an interview on TV is much easier. Exactly. Even if I make a mistake, I'm the only one who gets embarrassed by it. You're saying doing interviews is easy? That's crazy, too. Everything's crazy in this situation. Oh, I can't take this much longer. Don't you get nervous, too? I'm screaming on the inside. Wait, you are? Can't you tell? Sensei's face is like a waterfall. I don't know what that means. 
Uh, what are we supposed to do? Calm down. Huh? Did someone just... Blue went away. Teal went away. Everyone, can you gather around for a second? Okay. Yeah, got it. Uh, what are we doing? Your hearts are all racing, right? So is mine. But that's the power behind a live performance. I guess you're the one that's done this Don't before. Don't think about doing everything exactly right. The crowd's here to have fun, so we need to have fun first. Fair. Risei John. When I say who's ready, you say we are, okay? Be thankful for your fans, your friends, and yourself. This is a full blown, one time only performance. Now, who's ready? We are! There we go. Fired up and ready to go. All right. Now, listen up. We're sticking to how we practiced, okay? Remember, Teddy, you will be paying for every individual topsicle. Teddy? Teddy! Alright, let's do this! Here we go. Here goes! Yeah! Incoming! We even get an anime cutscene for it. <laughs> Teddy's ears make it. I'm sorry, but Teddy's ear is actually amazing for some reason to me. So curious about teal, though. I hope I'm right in the color. Wait a minute. Uh, you know what? While this cutscene's going on, I'm gonna look this up. <laughs> I'm also pretty sure, actually, I think this cutscene. Wait a minute. Did you see that? The TV was a. Uh... The TV was the, uh, the teleport, like, uh, what was it? You saw the red and black TV screen. Yeah, the red and black TV is, uh, like the, the doorways in the TV world. Uh, oh, boy. They're asking for an encore. We don't know how to do that. Oh, yeah. I, I didn't think about that. Free say. <laughs> we only know one song. What do we do now? We're screwed. There are only two things we can do. Ignore them and leave or play the same song over again. There's a third option. Maybe we can have Risa explain our situation and they'll go easy on us and let us replay that song. I got a third plan. Uh, what the? I saw that guy before. Oh, yeah. Uh, Teddy, now's not the time. Getting fired up! Teddy, do not nuke the audience. No. No, stop. Hey, Teddy? Stop the bear. <laughs> Teddy. <laughs> yeah, correct. <laughs> Surf. This is the best part of being a live performer! <laughs> Look at him go! There he goes! <laughs> Stupid Teddy! We can't play without him! But he's having a ball! He is a ball! Hey! Hey! Why don't we all dive into the crowd? They might just carry us out of here and we can escape this awkward situation! Uh, sure! Stage dive? It, you can go as a fan of it! Hey! Don't sound so excited! Do it! Actually, if all seven of us jump in, there'd be trouble. I'm doing it then. Screw y'all. Wee! <laughs> then what are we going to do? Do we have any other way out? <laughs> if you want to do it that much, then just the guys do it. Deal. Let's do it. Uh, all right. I'll show you what it means to be a man. Tanji, Yosuke, let's go. Hey, wait, you idiot! Too bad. Oh. Ow. I'm the only one who did it. They just... Dodged out of the way. How is Kanji okay? I didn't know it was possible to stand on your own face. Neither did I. And my knees hurt. You and your friends have become legends among your peers. Enough people have gathered at Jeunesse that you consider this mission accomplished. At least so you tell yourself. My knees hurt. <laughs> Welcome back. Hello. Do you have anything to say about that? There is an event where Konami Mashita was going to be... was going to be the honorary chief for the day was cancelled. I never thought that you would... 
That would force you into doing a live, live concert outside your nest. Look, do me a favor and don't use this to debut into showbiz. Okay? I don't need your mom screaming at me. Hey, about that. Uh, hold on a sec. Uh, just got to say something. screaming about at me <laughs> I heard you sing in front of everyone with Reese Chan you should join the next time I'll play the recorder well that happened you open the fridge. There's a bag full of clams inside. They seem very fresh. You left it alone. Okay. Let's finish up home gardening. You decide to continue reading home gardening. You feel as if you'll be able to grow your vegetables better now. From here on, the amount of time it takes for the vegetables in your garden to be ready to harvest will be reduced by a day. Very handy. Means we can get more done. Hey! Martin Ginkin! Man, that was exhausting yesterday. This is my first time being up on the stage like that. I you had to do stuff like that at all the time when she was working, right? I'll ne I'd never be able to live like that. And this week we got midterms. Aww. Oh hey, we should have a study session with everybody else after school. We're all in the same boat, right? Let's help each other out. Each other? That's right, help each other out. Okay, so what if I'm more on the being helped side than the helping other side? Come on, help, help those of us who are actively challenged. I'll invite everyone, please. All right, all right. Oop. Now please, take a look at the second page of the handout. It's about Napoleon. Napoleon went on many military campaigns and needed something very specific. Napoleon had these made. King, would you stand up please? Ooh. What did Napoleon have invented? Glass jars. <laughs> you know well. That's right, he made people invent glass jars. Napoleon held a contest with lots of reward money to whoever could come up with a, with a way to preserve food on long, long campaigns. Nicholas Appert submitted his method for canning food in 1804, paving the way for the food preservation industry. It's a common misconception, but Napoleon was not involved with the actual invention of metal cans. The first canned foods were kept in glass jars. Tin or, irons were, and, or iron cans were invented in 1810 as an alternative to heavier jars. An actual can opener, however, wouldn't be invented for another 45 years. Before the invention of the can opener, soldiers would use bayonets to cut open cans or smash them with rocks. So, midterms start at the end of the next of this week. Don't forget to reveal. Gave the correct answer. Rank up. Jeunesse food court. Nanako! Hi, Nanako-chan. Hi, Teddy. Hey, greetings to you. Have you been keeping the child busy? Happy? If so, I will gift you 10,000 yen. Greetings to you. Hello. Looks like you're having fun. Yo. Ganji! Wow, everyone's here! And Risa Inoto! So many people! All your friends, Nanako! Why did everyone come here? Hang out. Exam study group. Times like these, I'm jealous of Teddy. You don't have school, man. It seems like a dream that we had a live concert here only yesterday. That was so much fun! I didn't think the crowd would get that excited. Kanji, is your face okay? But enough of that. Let's start with proving the trigonometric identities. Oh, one of those. Gross. Jumping straight into math? Pain. Ours is the section on trig functions, right? The one where we find the area of a triangle given two sides and... Huh? You find the area of a triangle with... 
you know, that thing. Ask Nauto, maybe they know. Um, base by height by two. Uh. If you don't mind, shall I teach you? Yippee! Oh, are you as smart as I thought? Could you, uh, lend me a hand too? <laughs> oh, um, I wouldn't know where to begin with second year she knows subjects. First, she knows first year stuff, not second. Ah, uh, what's up with that? Useless after all. Yes, gang. Don't call me useless. <laughs> I think I've figured out what buttons to push to get Nato Kun riled up. Oh dear. You're pretty cute when you're angry. Nato, you know what to avoid. What? What are you talking about? That's it. I quit. This just ain't my thing. The hell with the exams. It's time for my animal crackers. Correct. Oh, can I have some too? I want to find the penguin. Hands off the penguin. It's mine. A war for the penguin. Uh, forget it. I can't think. This table got a lot Daddy more crowded. Says he doesn't know who he is. <laughs> That's so weird. Eh. My life on this side is really fun. But the more I feel that way, the more I want to know who I really am. Hmm. I've surfed the net, read manga, watched TV. Well, you've de definitely done your research, but... Unfortunately, I don't think you're going to be finding your answer on this side, to be real with you. I even went to a place called the library, but I still can't find anything about me. Mm. Dude, I'd be surprised if you did. I'd be too. Still, I'm starting to get an idea. What matters is your teddy. An idea? Whoa, isn't this your first time sharing a theory about yourself? What you think? I lived in that other world. That world was my reality. But now, I have a feeling that it was born from the minds of people on this side. So you're saying you're somebody's shadow? And over in that place, filled with shadows, I think I was some sort of special being. Hmm. Huh. Maybe. A special being? I mean, it's possible. He is kind of different from the other shadows. I don't remember anything from back then, though. Maybe it's that amnesia thing I read about in a book the other day. It's possible. It's true. There are some aspects of the other world that make it seem as though it's rooted in human thoughts. I mean, it only gets bigger when other people enter. Still, there's no point in applying the principles of logic and deduction to a place like that. Also fair. But the fact that you existed in such a world from the beginning adds credibility to your theory. Mm. There is little doubt that you are a special being on the other side. You are a special little teddy. If you yourself know nothing about it, Perhaps it's true that part of your memory is missing. By the way, should we be discussing this with Nanako next to us? I mean, I guess it's no harm. She'll just think we're talking about codes or stuff, or maybe. Tell me, what is the earliest memory you can call to mind? Oh, that's actually a good place to start. It's from a while ago. I've always lived there, as far as I could tell. Then it started to get noisy, so when I happened to bump into Sensei and Yosuke, I asked them to do something about it. Hmm. I see. If you've always been on that side, you'd have no sense of time or days. Yeah, uh, I guess that doesn't really help then. Oh, that's right! <laughs> Nanako-chan's completely clueless about all this! Exactly! I'm sorry, Nanako-chan. We didn't mean to leave you out. Hey! I think Teddy must be a king! The king of the shadow world, huh? I read in a story that a king was all alone inside a forest because of a bad guy's curse. Maybe he is Isn't a king. Isn't that what happened to you, Teddy? Maybe a he is. king? Well, when you put it that way, it sounds about right. King of the silly world. Teddy? A king? Oh, God. Here we go. <laughs> I can see him wearing a king. Here we go. <laughs> Yukiko, you go into laughing fits in front of anyone now. I mean, that's a good thing. Can we not talk about Teddy being a king? Huh? What's with that face? What are you talking about? Teddy really was a king. Oh, God. No, 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 no. Teddy, no. There were all these other kings, too. And we all... Not that king. No, hey, stop. he's talking about what happened at the club. Not to the child. Quiet, you not in front of Nanako-chan. Stop. Everyone left their seats to go buy drinks with Nanako. <sighs> Am I really a king? Eh, maybe. I can't deny it. <laughs> if I'm a king, I'll get to smooch girls every day. Don't get ahead of yourself. You might get overthrown at that rate. Teddy is smirking. 
I have this fuzzy feeling that I'll find out sooner or later with your help, Sensei. Yeah. You sense Teddy's strong trust. Rank 7. Endure mortal blow. Big bro! Teddy! Is melon soda okay? I uh, never had it before, but I'll try it, sure. <gasps> I have fun to do next. And now we're as a tutor. These unfortunately are not great veggies, but they will suffice. Uh, let's go with... I feel like barrier corns are the best thing I can probably make for the TV world. So I know the wheat corn... I know the wheat... The wheat... Uh, the crack wheat are like keys for the other world. But I'm pretty sure the the corn can be used as like reflecting magic and physical attacks one for one ally. Which could potentially be immensely powerful considering that can just turn any potential death into a reflected of survival. Uh, now let's go see our good old pal Shu. Shu! Dear Shu. Oh, I see. The word that was omitted. So it's really saying... He began to explain the sense in an easily understood manner. Tell you the truth, I'm not that good at, with the English language. I can memorize what's in the textbook and get good grades on tests, but I don't really understand it. But the teacher doesn't comprehend the difference between reading from a, the textbook and speaking to people. Teaching must be a great job. Even idiots can be arrogant when they know more than you do. They don't get what it means to learn at all. I mean, that's just how it is. <laughs> a student's value is equal to how well that he scored on tests. Well, at least that's easy to understand. Shoe nods. About the transfer student I told you about before, his grades are pretty good, but he can't beat me. But then the rest of the class and the teacher made this face like the transfer student is no good after all. Looking down on him. And yet he acts all big, so everyone hates him. Lately, no one even talks to him. It's also stupid. Why have to go to a school when it's so obviously dumb? That place... I mean, you're not the only one who thinks things like that, you know? Courage has increased. Oh, I see. Everyone goes to school against their will. She thinks deeply. Yasugami High looks fine. At least that's- I get that feeling when I see you. Oh, but by the time I'm a first year, you'll already gr have graduated. <laughs> then there's no point, huh? It seems that she was slowly opening up to you. Rank 4. Oh, time's up. Be careful going home. Please come back again. You finished your tutoring job and went home. Money. A lot of money. Redo. Yo! King good morning. You know, lately whenever we're over there, I've been wondering, does it feel like you've seen those shadows before? I mean, we fought robots and stuff that look like they're right off some anime, right? Doesn't that bother you? Hmm, well, I didn't mention it. Remember how our other cells had those logos like a TV show? Maybe it was like that for the same reason as to why the shadows look like something from the TV. He said before that the other world is related to our mind somehow. People who watch the Midnight Channel believe it's a TV show and retreat that world as something inside the TV. So maybe that's why. Or is it still because all of us have had our brains soaked in television since we were kids? Hmm. I guess I can't really deny that. I can't help watching Hong Kong action movies whenever they're on TV. Whoop. Uh, it's so tiring coming up with this stuff for exams. All I want to do is go home and see how my socks are doing. By the way, Halloween's at the end of the, this month. I'm sure you've forgotten what, the, what with this tests and festivals all and all. 
Being a Halloween, the first jack o lanterns weren't made out of pumpkin. Hmm, send Tanaka san. I'll pick you since you don't seem to care about veggies. Nah, I'll choose that again. Do you know what vegetables were used to make the first jack o lanterns? Turnips. Yep, that's correct. The first ones were made out of turnips or meats. When that tradition was carried into the U.S., they started using pumpkins because they were plentiful and easier to carve. While we're on this hot subject, I'm hoping that my stomach ox will turn up. No? Fine, puns aren't my style anyway. Give the correct answer! Alright, we've got a couple things to look at first. So, first off, we have... We're gonna go up. Here. So there's gonna be... First you. Ah, Seven Gun. Can I have a moment with you? There's something I'd like to ask. What's up? Well, at least nothing seems to be going right. And I'm trying to think of the cause. Feng Shui. That's gotta be it, right? I think that maybe I need better feng shui. I'm mean, anxious and complaining and all. That's not how I usually am. So I was asking around and some of the students said that they were good at finding random things for people. I'm looking for a crystal ball. You think you could do that for me? If I place it near the front of my house, I'm sure it'll, all my problems will be solved. I'll see what I can do. Great. I'll leave it to you. Crystal ball. Oh, Seven Gun, isn't it? I remember your name since you're a transfer student. Would you mind taking me, talking with me for a moment? Oh, listen. Young people often say they just like the countryside, but if you ask me, I'd say that they just don't have hobbies. If they had hobbies, then they wouldn't be bored, even here in the countryside. I've been here ever since I was very small, but I've never been bored. That's because I have a collection. The sort of collection you have, you ask? Tanks. Collecting tank-related items. I just can't get enough of them. Gun barrels, caterpillar treads. <laughs> After becoming a principal here, I've been able to devote my time and money to expanding my collection, but training, so That is the one thing I've been unable to acquire. If I were able to get a hold of it, I would be willing to give you a reward money that you can't buy. I think I can get you that. Really? You can find one for me. I can't wait for you to bring it to me. Acquire training shell. Or floor. Should be... Yep, you. And whilst we're at it, we're gonna go to the other one. Oh, this is it. Time to put up or shut up. I made a deal with my dad. If I can pass all my classes with an 80% or better, I can make art again. All I gotta do is cram like there's no tomorrow. Even though I never get better than the class average. Thanks, I'll do my best. I just remembered. Hey, would you mind helping me out with something? What's up? Well, the thing is, I don't have enough materials for this piece of art I'm trying to make. You know where I can find a high speed gear? Wait, no. Really? Does that mean you'll get it for me? I'll make sure you don't regret it. Please, I'm counting on you. Whilst we're here, I want to go to the practice building real quick. Second floor? Aha! Here we go. A while ago, I couldn't actually turn in this quest. Get what? My dad's been pretty down ever since he shut down his plastic bottle shop. I was wondering what he could, what I could do, and that, then I thought maybe I could round up all the regular kids who go used to go there. But they said they wouldn't come see him unless I gave them badges. I was going to give them the, and the ones from Shiroku's, but they don't seem... They don't like those. I don't know where else to look. Leave it to me. Really? Well, the kids said they want proof of passion. They're all, there are three kids and all, so I guess I'm gonna need, I'll need three badges. I'm so sorry, but I leave it to you. Actually, I've actually got those right here. At them. Thank you so much. I wonder if these will make my dad happy. Sorry for dragging you through this. I know I've been relying on you a lot lately. Um, this is for you. My mom wanted, you, wanted to thank you for her, so, too. Received a bead wrapped in cloth. Wait, hold on. Desk refurbishing. Oh, 
I gave her the desk eventually? I didn't think I actually ever gave her the desk. I didn't think I ever did. Huh, okay, never mind. I was actually in the clear. In fact, that's actually ahead of what the uh, guide was asking. Anyways, uh, other things to do. First off, we're going to go to... We're first going to go to the shopping district. Hello. You think it'd be nice if everything was done for you? That's what I'd call a convenience. Kind of like driving a car. All you gotta do is step on the gas and the car does the rest. If life was like that. Ugh, what am I saying? Sorry. I didn't think of crazy things when I'm bored. Eh, don't we all? There's a new book. Farewell to Man. The Amazing Kanzanga Volume 5. Reading it may raise your courage. Next up, we're gonna sell some stuff to Daidara. Specifically, I want to sell to him... Where are these? I want to sell him eight power rocks. Well, I'll give him nine. Invincible Mini. Invincible Mini has a lot of defense. <laughs> I'll buy one for all the girls first. Especially Naoto, because Naoto just has a shirt. <laughs> but I'm also going to buy one just to have. So let's leave the shopping district. Uh, and we're going to go to Okina City. Yo! Yeah. Hey you, you seem too fashionable to be from around here. That scent, you smell like the city. I'm um, just a quiet country housewife, but I once was once the goddess of the stage. Ah, those days, the roar of the crowd, the smoldering gazes of the men. Listen, will you grant a wish of mine? What's up? Very kind of you. You'll be a great man someday. I went to that clothing store, but they don't have anything I need. It's not enough to relive my youth. I need something more risque, something that shows off my curve. What I want is an invincible skirt, like the kind I used to wear back in the day. If you're finding something like that, bring it to me so I can see it, please. You mean like this? Oh, how wonderful! Yes, this is what I was. it was like. Risky and a little dangerous? Oh, how I shine back then. Thank you. Because of you, I can go on. I can do everything. Big now for my husband and children. I'm only a faithful country wife these days, and that's okay. I'll give this to you. I don't need it anymore. Obtained a disco fan. Well, we're actually at Crocofer. The Neo Featherman set. A special set to dress up as the popular Phoenix Rangers Featherman R characters. I'll take it. Just want me to clarify that was it. Pyrojack. I don't think I have Pyrojack quite yet. I don't think I do. So we can go ahead and try this. Now here is another time where I think I'm gonna potentially differ from the guide. So what the guide recommends to do here is go to the Shiroku store and go to the capsule machines. You may have remembered a while back in one of the previous episodes that there was a time when I screwed up the uh, ordering things and had to refight Yukiko's boss because I did something at night that ended up wasting time, which was messing around with the capsule machine. Now, the capsule machine can get you items, but if it gets stuck, then it's possible to get chess keys, I believe. That can be pretty nice. But I don't think it's actually needed for any story-related thing. I think it's just, I think the guide's just mentioning it because it may be an achievement. Which again, the guide that I'm using is mostly for like, it's not just the completion sake, it's also like achievements. So, that's kind of why that's there. 
but well we don't have to do that technically you know right we could technically try and do something different right now the question is what kind of different things could i do there's not any uh anyone i could hang out with but all right let's see you know like hmm I actually don't know what I want to do. Oh, hey, it's you. Mayumi, I can only do my best. It's all I can do for her. It's the least I can do. Hmm. Uh, not the right thing, but whatever. We'll check this anyway. No. <laughs> so yeah, the guide actually recommends that if rain loosen the dial, you can turn the dial. Admittedly, though, I don't really feel like doing that simply because, well, I don't really need it, to be honest with you. Sure, it may be an achievement, but it's not like I really want it. So, you know what? Screw it. We're gonna... I'm gonna do one attempt here, and this might just be a waste of time. This honestly may just be a waste of time, but if it gives me diligence, then it's not. It gave me diligence. It's not a waste of time. Hello. Oh, huge fish. Now, here we go once more with something that may or may not take an hour or two. What do I mean? Well, let's go to the... Do I have a persona of a specific arcana? Yes, I do. Let's go to the shrine. Wait a minute. Now let's go to the shrine. So, we need to get a blessing. People, no. Someone else. Female classmates, someone else. Wait, nobody. Sorry, I was right before. Someone else. Ellie. So, come on, give it first try. Holy crap, actually first try. You feel like you've gotten close to Eri. Will not become stronger yet. That's fine. That's what the guide says as well. Oh, it actually was first try. You have your students talking. Ugh, midterm start tomorrow, but I feel so lazy. I can't believe you're so hardcore that you're studying for the exam, senpai. I'm sure you're gonna need to know all this stuff in the future. Well, you probably won't. By the way, would you not say the word lazy around me, especially this early in the morning? Whatever. After exams, we have a culture festival. There are more first-year students this year, so the festival could be more fun than it was last year. Uh So, there's a teacher here who tried up had to put a problem on the test involving a student's bust weight, hip measurements. Who said- I won't say who, but isn't that just wrong? I mean, who cares about a high school girl's measurements? It would have been much more interesting if they were mine, huh? But man, middle-aged students are so perverted. I can actually can feel them looking at me in the faculty lounge. <laughs> By the way, speaking of middle-aged men, there's a cute little fish neat called uh, the Oji-san. Isn't that a cute name? Too bad there's no fish called the Obasan. I guess that's because no matter how old we get, women are still women. Well, Kinkun, were you listening to what I just said? By the way, is the student dead in front of me? What kind of fish was I just talking about? Oji. I'm glad you were listening to me. It's actually named the goat fish, but it's commonly called the Oji Fatsan. It's called that because it has whiskers. And it looks just like a middle-aged man. I want you to remember that, so I'll be putting it on the test that starts tomorrow. Gave the correct answer. It's 
Let's wait until the Colonel takes action. Alright, first off. Persona, I need... To... Okay, we're good. Boop, boop. Alright. Next up, next up, next up. We're going out to town and we're going to Samagawa. First go down here. Please don't tell me I should go home. I don't wanna I won't be bothering you, but there's something I wanna ask you. You free? What's up? You're moving soon, so I made up my mind. I'm gonna stop being exactly like my sister. I'm thinking of changing my appearance would be a good first step, so I wanna wear a headband. But you like you won't be bad, so can you find a Brett branch headband for me? If it's something you find, it'll be something that it'll be something that no one else has, right? You think you'd find one? I'm on it. Thank you. I'm so glad that you can help me out. A twin's independence. Next up. Down the road. There's a nod to that. Is a cat. Feed the cat. Red goldfish? Here. 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 Oh, the cat gave me Soma. That needs food badly. So Soma is probably the best healing item you can get in the game, I'm pretty sure. Bye. Fully restores parties HP and SP. Yeah. That's pretty good. Anyways, let's go into town. Hey, Daddy. Go to the shopping district north. I want to talk to this old guy up here. Yeah? What? Well, why did you have to interrupt me when it should be obvious that I was lost in thought? I was just taking a little stroll down memory lane. All my friends from years ago, they all left this town one by one. I can't count on them anymore. Boy, you need to judge those friends of yours while you still have them. Listen. People, they're frightening things, aren't they? Once they find something they like, they'll keep asking for it. I'm well and truly impressed by your kindness, boy. I think I understand you, but I want to get into the best sauna ever made. I think I could do it too if I had some fine coal. Youngster, would you bring some to me? Sure thing, Gramps. Really? Is it okay? Aren't you busy with school and all that jazz? Ah, no, never mind. Thank you, boy. I'm looking forward to it. Requires some fine coal. And then finally, not that. Actually, this kind of works out better, anyways. Muddy! I'm taking out. I need to take a drink of water real quick. <laughs> the hill overlooking town. You brought Marie here. She's surprisingly quiet. I'm actually scared that I can't remember anything. Everything about me is borrowed. Everything is just on loan from that room. Uh -huh. If I return what I borrowed, I won't have anything left. The name Marie, this body, this voice. They'll all fade away. I feel like that's what'll happen to me. Right. So I thought, if only I could at least remember something. But I couldn't figure out anything. It's really scary. Maybe I don't have any real memories to find. Huh. It's beautiful. Hey, is this that one place? We came here after eating the... 
Steak skewers. Yeah, it is. It really is nostalgic here. I don't know why, but it feels like I've known this scenery since a long time ago. Uh -oh. I had fun then. Take me there again sometime, okay? I thought you for that's a memory, you know. Of course I remember you stupid jerk face twerp. Ain't that what you want? I remember. It's a memory. Exactly. Ain't that what you want? A memory of you and me. Exactly. Huh. Yeah. I remember. <laughs> I feel stupid now. It feels incredible. Hmm. Marie closed her eyes as if reminiscing something. Hey, can we make more? More memories? <laughs> oh, why not? Dummy, of course you will. I can't make any without you. I don't have to hurry, huh? Even if I don't have memories, I can make more. <laughs> Thank you. I'm sorry, it's just that I'm happy. Seems Maria's cheered up. Rank 9. Still, you really are a weird person. You're so busy and yet you still take time to take care of me. Why do you do that? Why? Because you're my friend. Friend. I see. So this is what it means to have friends. Thank you. I'm so happy. I'm your friend now. Look, I'm really counting on you. So let me say, stupid, I hate you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Welcome back. Okay, here's where something becomes exceedingly worrisome. Remember what we did the last time where we uh, had to get a great blessing with Aerie? Yeah, we gotta do it again. Although, here's the thing though. If I don't get it, then this will actually be an immense pain to try and save, like save quit for. And when I say immense pain, as in, like, I'd have to wait, like, four, three different days before I could actually do anything to, like, before I could actually, like, revert the save back to, uh, you know. Ugh. But we just need the same thing we did last time. A great blessing with Aerie, please. <sighs> the amount of time that took is absurd. I don't even want to go into it. Let's move on. <sighs> what matters is it's done. I got it. Okay, we're done. Second term, our midterms begins today and continue until next Thursday. Very to school. Uh, oh, morning. Hey, how much studying did you get done after we met up? Actually, have you studied at all? What about you? <laughs> Me? How much do you think I would study? I don't know. Yeah, if I'm gonna die, at least he's like, oh, fine, just like Ryoma Sakamoto. Wait, was that Shinsengumi? Uh. All right, here we go. Midterms, day one. What part of the body contains the Adam's apple? It is the throat. Where would you find Japan on a map made in a foreign country? 
right edge. I swear to God, if I get this wrong and have to redo that, I will actually, like, end the playthrough. How short was history's shortest war? It was 40 minutes. This is the meat of what animal? All of the above. Okay, we don't have to risk redoing literally everything. Oh wait, never mind. I'm looking at the guide and guess what we get to do during the evening? Once more! Whatever, whatever. Huh? You know? Hey, it's me, Yosuke. You wanna... You want to make, make a study group today? We got four more days of exams. Oh, pass. All right. Having a big study group may, might not be such a good idea anyway. Laters. Oh, God. This also ends with freaking having to do more exams. So my nightmare is not even over yet. Oh, I want to throw it. I'm not even in the mood to do Tanaka's thing. Just show me what you got. Red battle suit, diet food, physical mirror, magic mirror. Just give me the red battle suit and let's get this over with. I'm not in the mood for the music yet. Not until I can get the nightmare of the fortune box out of the way. Ugh. Yeah. Anyways. Go till evening. You there. Just give me your seedlings. <laughs> the Samagawa. Hey, Nishan. <laughs> I'm no good. I said I didn't want to see you, and yet part of me was hoping that you would come anyway. I'm happy that you did. If it's all right with you, shall we talk? Let's talk, Isano. Yes. I'd be happy to. Isano smiles gently. I was half expecting you to come and half thinking that you'd give up, given up. <laughs> Being non-committal, floating around, never deciding to be in one thing nor another. Can a man understand that? Hmm. I think I can get it. Mm -hmm. I see. I suppose this kind of feeling isn't gender-specific. Isano smiles cheerfully. I just remembered something. Before we were married, you remember that my husband and I could only meet once a year, yes? So we exchanged letters all the time. I'd wait by the mailbox every day, wondering when his next letter would arrive. The days would come... The days one came would fill me with joy. But I also felt that reading it immediately would be wasteful. I wanted to write my reply so badly, so I would grow impatient and read it carefully, over and over. What were they about? <laughs> Do you know? I've forgotten all of this after all this time. <laughs> Isano smiles. When you find yourself of somebody to love, try writing a letter for them. Just one line can convey so much more of your feelings than a hundred speeches. He smiles nostalgically. You feel some of the loneliness she is bearing. Mm. Thanks, X. But you know what? I've lost the letters he'd sent to me. I thought I kept them in a safe place. Well... I suppose I don't need them anymore. He sounded looks sad. Maybe having those letters again would cheer her up. Well, he saw and went home. Wonder if we can find those letters. Even if it is for a selfish reason. Welcome back. Just to make someone else happy for our own sex. All right. I already told you what was going to end up happening. The nightmare is not yet over. In fact, it has only just begun. If the nightmare was bad before, this is gonna, it's gonna be nothing compared to what it's about to be. Because the nightmare is only going to grow exceedingly worse. 
Game, I beg of you. I beg of you. I will humiliate myself a million times more if you need. But please, just give it to me first try so we can end this nightmare. Please! Let's go. Midterms day three. What is the Japanese name for panda? Black and white bears. Chose the correct answer. Which bird is falsely known for being cowardly in the English phrase to stick one's hand in the head in the sand? It is ostrich. Day 18. What was the name of the Wasan textbook that came out during the Edo, per Edo period? It was Math Girl. What did Napoleon have invented? Glass jars. Which season is the adjective brisk a Kigo for? Fall. What is dragon's blood? Plant reason. Oh, we're good. We're good. I don't have to worry anymore. It can't hurt me no more. Consistently failing the same thing over and over again can't hurt me anymore. It's the last day of the exams. You answered every question with ease. The answers seem to be flowing from your hand. I'm alive. I agree. Hey, about question eight. I don't want to know. She and Yukio are completely absorbed in reviewing the exam. I pulled an all-nighter last night, so I'm ready to collapse any second now. I'm gonna head home. See you later. See ya, partner. So Yosuke left. At last, the long midterms are finally over. I agree, game. Finally is indeed. Now... We have to play the fun game again of do I have the correct persona type? The answer is, of course I don't. What do you think I am? A person who's ever prepared. Nope, I am not that. Uh, I sold you and... Actually, we can get rid of a justice persona too. Uh... You know what? What other persona types are I gonna need? Hermit? Or Hierophant? Rubber Tower? I want to use a... I want to get rid of a persona type that I'm not going to need any more points for. Well, actually, I don't think I need... I don't think I actually need... Uh, because we're at rank 9, I don't think we actually need Ame no Izume anymore. So this actually works out perfectly. Alright, then. This is perfect, then. We need another persona. Hello, Risa. We need another persona. This time, we need a persona of the typing of... Who's the strongest? Emperor Thoth. Thoth will do. We're gonna hang out with Kanji. Uh, leave the shopping district. We're gonna go to... Back to school. And go to the practice building. Everything's falling apart. Yo, yeah. senpai. Glad to suck today as usual. Oh yeah, how's she doing, that girl? I mean, uh, Mary... Mary whatever it was. Nah, I ain't worried about her none. She just seemed like someone you can't leave on her own. Hey, don't get the wrong idea. I ain't interested in a brat like her, okay? Oh, well, sorry I said I. And then she ought to come along the next time we get a guy. How'd you have some free time? Oh. Yeah! Sweet! Someone go flip lane. Seems Kanji called the boy here. Here. Holy. Kanji placed a bunch of knit dolls on the table. Each one with different clothing and accessories. They're very elaborate. I can have these? 
Yeah, if you don't need them, I guess you could just toss them. Thank you. Oh yeah, Mom said you should at least be paid for the materials. She gave me some money. I, I said I don't need it. I, I look like I'm in this mo in this for the money to you. Mister, you're from that semi textiles, right? Uh, nothing. Oh, big bro. Not a cool. Oh, oh, these are so cute. What are these? Uh, well, this man made them. <laughs> you're amazing. You're really good. She looked straight at me when she said this man. Hey, not a good John. So don't go around telling everyone, okay? It's kind of embarrassing. Why? I think it's cool you can make things like this. I want to learn how to make them too. Ooh, uh, well, uh, maybe next time. Is that okay with you, big bro? I want to learn too. You skip an hour. Me? Teach you? I, I ain't that good at teaching. Kanji's face is thoroughly red. Oh, I saw my way to Emi-chan's house. Teach me next time. Bye. I'm gonna show you some mom. Thank you, mister. <laughs> I think I can understand now. A little, anyway about what strength really means. And I used to think it was doing what needed to be done, like a man. So I thought, for me, I was catching this damn killer. I mean, that's important too, but there's something else I gotta confront too, ain't there? A weak heart, huh? A weak heart. When I met that other me in the TV world, I really hated knowing that was me. I thought I should change, but now, I feel like I haven't changed a bit. I started to panic. Kanji's muttering to himself. It ain't that easy to become strong, is it? Kanji's looking far into the distance with a relieved look on his face. His face shines with a gentleness you've never seen before from him. Rank 7. You can now endure a mortal blow. I'm taking off. Mom saw the stuff I made. She's been hassling me about selling them at the shop. How's a textile shop gonna do with stuff that's already been there? Oh, come on! Sell your plushies, damn it! I wanna buy half of them! Despite his words, Kanji seems happily embarrassed. For the love of God, please! I'll hang them all up in my room! Later. Please! Please! Da 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 da! Huh? Oh! Nanako doesn't seem to be home. I'm home! Oh, Nanako! There you are! Oh, welcome back. There was a letter in the mailbox for you. Oh, thank you. I wonder who gave me mail. The letter is addressed to Mr. Caden 7. The sender's name and address are nowhere to be found. What's this? There's only one sentence printed. Don't rescue any more. Uh. Is it from a friend? Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, my show is almost done. Uh. Don't rescue any more? Could this be a warning from the killer? Or is it just a prank? You should discuss this with a group tomorrow. If it's a prank, it's a pretty messed up one. Huh? What the? Hmm? I'll protect you all from the madness of this world. I'll take you to a place where you can be at peace. Yes, it's much more peaceful than here. That's... Uh...
Guys, you showed everyone the letter you received yesterday. Don't rescue any more. Uh, I'm a bit worried if the killer knows my location. I'm sure I'd be fine against him, but I don't want him to harass Dojima or Nanako. Is this a warning? Uh, no punctuation or capitalization. Aw, oh, what a cliche. And if this is a joke from one of y'all, I'm going to be really freaking pissed. Ain't this just a prank? The kind of stuff that only happens in the movies? Yeah, the only ones who would know if it's a prank or anything would be you guys. So if this is a prank from one of you guys, it's pretty fucked up. Did you show this to your uncle? Hell no. I don't plan to. Senpai, Dojima-san is trustworthy. But it may be best to keep this to ourselves. Exactly. He will ask why you received such a letter. And if he were to put you under surveillance, our hands would be tied. I know, it'd screw us up. I'm not chancing it. If this letter is real, what's most important isn't what it says. It's the fact they know me. It's the fact that it was delivered to the Dojima residence, addressed directly to you. This means the culprit knows in great detail who has been interfering with his crimes. And of all of us, he chose to deliver his message to the Dojima residence, home of a police detective. So they're pretty damn confident. I'd have this letter checked at a crime lab if I could, but even then I doubt they'd find anything. The text is a warning, while the subtext expresses the culprit's confidence that we can't use it to pinpoint his identity. So it's useless to tell the police. In fact, that would make things worse. Yeah. Cross your fingers, it's just a prank. Uh. I think the chances of that are slim. This message is too specific, too perfect to be a prank. Exactly. But how could the killer know so much about us? That's a great question. Could he be watching us from somewhere? Teddy's been saying for a while that when we're over there, he senses someone watching us. Wait. Every time we went to the other side to rescue someone, did we end up on the Midnight Channel ourselves? You know, I never actually considered that, but you're right. We probably would have been invisible on the channel as well, wouldn't we? I don't know. It seems like no one else knows what we're doing. Eh, I guess that's also fair. If we were seen on the channel, then we'd probably be getting a lot of questions from even classmates who'd see the Midnight Channel saying like, Hey, didn't you? Didn't we see you on TV last night? I haven't heard any rumors about us at school. Even the people who I know check that channel haven't said anything. So I guess, never mind on that, we're probably safe. The only gossip I heard was about the people who disappeared. Uh, I see. Come to think of it, how the Midnight Channel works is still a mystery. Yeah? Let's put aside for now the matter of what that world truly is. There's too little data to go on. That's not even the concerning part the point, at, at the now, moment. We need to keep in mind that the culprit knows who we are. We can worry about what that world is later. Let's deal with the culprit first, then we can deal with that. As long as we're all aware of that, it will be enough for now. All right. Yeah, I guess there's no use thinking about stuff we can't understand. Yeah. Freaking out over speculation is just what the killer wants us to do. Right? Exactly. Yes, guy's right. Let's just stay calm. Yeah. You told the others we'll have to wait until the situation changes. All right. Unless they make an explicit move to get, confront us, then we'll, then we should be fine for now. Mind if I change the subject then? Go for it. The culture festival's just around the corner. What's our class doing again? Oh boy. Oh yeah, it hasn't been decided yet, the, huh? The last time I went to a culture festival in a game. Uh, I got discovered as a, a thief, but let's ignore that. I heard we'll be voting on it soon, but aren't they still gathering ideas? I don't know. Ain't our problem. Hmm? Whoa, I think Yosuke just got hit with a bolt of inspiration. I could literally see the light bulb. Whatever it is, it'll be out there. I bet my lunch on it. I'll bet 10 bucks. Hey, Senpai, have you decided who you'll be going around the campus with during the festival? Hmm, I don't know, Risei. I don't know. How about you take a guess? My schedule's still wide open, you lucky guy. Oh, maybe I will. Oh, she just had to say something. Wah, wah. As of ended, was that warning a prank? However, you have no leads, you have no choice but to wait until later. 
Uh, oh, I, I was about to say, what am I trying to do? I want to save. I was about to say, what am I trying here? All right, couple things. First off, we want to go to Juness. You're friends with that boy who's pawns this place, aren't you? You know, I saw you two putting on a show up to the, on the roof the other day. The owner's son and the other workers helped me clean up after a help clean up after the concert. I think he must have run this after they finished up up and he changed out of his work clothes. Could you give it to him? Obtain Juness oh, coveralls. Now I'm counting on you. Hey, Dachi. Uh, what was I gonna do? Oh yeah, next up, I want to make sure. Do I have a persona of? Yes, I do. Okay. Uh, go into town. We want to go to shopping district first, because there's something we want to do. It's not exactly the thing we're gonna be spending time with yet, but there is you. You're. The man in black is looking at you as if appraising you. Do you, do you know about luminal reactions? What part of the body do you use to test DNA? What's the best way to obtain someone's email address? What 10 things can you learn about from footprints? Man, I'm barring you with questions for some reason. With your unmatched knowledge, you answered every challenge smoothly and easily. I see, I see. Quite an interesting young man. You know Naoto uh, um... You know detective by the name of Naoto Shiragane, correct? I do. Yes, I know you know him. Service him. You understand. Man, the man in black hands you something. Received white card. Good day, then. Man walks briskly away. This smells like a case. You should hand over to Naoto. Hmm. A white card, huh? card a suspicious man gave you. He told you to give it to Nato. We'll deal with that later. For now, let's head back to the school. Now, the guy here gets a little weird because it mentions how this social link is quite, uh, temperamental, I guess, or, like, quite intricate in how you get the, uh, romance. Oh. Yes, Daisuke, about this type. Seems I won't ask to hang out until you ask Daisuke. Uh, I sure shit hope he's available today, or else we're absolutely screwed. Yo, uh -huh. Ken, what, do I slip my face? You told Daisuke that I, Abihara, wants to know his type. Huh? My type? I'm not interested in woman. Well, if anything, I'd like a nice girl, though. Well, that'll do. That'll suffice. Come with me. You're Makala. Let's hang out. I looks almost happy. Yas got me high rooftop. I yanked your arm all the way up here. So, th did yeah. you ask him uh, what kind of girl he likes? You told I about Daisuke's type. Nice girls. N nice? He didn't say anything about being cute? N not even, like, a beautiful woman or anything like that? I looks almost panicked. But every guy wants to be with a pretty girl, right? It's the good-looking girl who finds love, isn't it? Forget this. I I'm tired of being around the bush. I'm just gonna ask him if he's got a crush on anyone. What are you waiting for? Go! Uh, me? You don't appear to have a choice. Decide to check downstairs. Daisuke! Where are you? There you are. Daisuke! Yo! Gang, what's up? Yeah, this dice gave has a crush on anyone in particular. Huh? What's going into you? Nah, there isn't anyone. Yes, if he had any interest in I. I? Like our manager I? Not interested. Are we done playing 20 questions? <laughs> See you later. Well, this is gonna hurt. You feel the presence of someone watching you. It seems I was eavesdropping. I. I. Hey, no, no, no. Don't come any closer. No, 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 no. Doesn't like me. Not interested in the slightest. Hey. I just lost your composure. You need to calm her down before it gets any worse. I like pretty girls, don't they? I'm pretty now. 
I had to work hard to come this way. If I can't be loved, then what's the point? I hear you out. Stop. I... I used to be fat and clumsy. My family was poor, and everyone at school bullied me all the time. They used to surround me and say I was gross, or they call me names like Piggy Hara. The boy I had a crush on even told me not to look at him because I'd give him my germs. Those awful memories still haunt me in my nightmares. About the time I entered middle school, my family came into their money. Everyone got so jealous of us that they, we ran away and moved here. I knew this was my chance to start over. It was time to show them all. I dieted, I got into shape, I read every fashion and women's magazine I could get my hands on. I studied them like they were textbooks and learned all the secrets, everything from attracting guys to smiling better. But... <laughs> Looks like it was all for nothing. I couldn't be loved unless I became pretty. And now that I am, I still can't have it. I guess I'm doomed. I'll never be loved, will I? It's not like I have any other redeeming qualities. I mean, you're still young. You're so nice to me. I should have fallen in love with you. You're already in a relationship with someone else. Just kidding. I mean... Hey, why don't you and I just go out? You sure about that? You're a weird guy. I'm sorry. I'm still a little confused. I should probably check something real quick because the guy doesn't make it obvious what this means basically the guy that i'm using says end end platonic and end intimate but i didn't know exactly what it's talking about here so maybe i should just look at what a different guide says in terms of what that actually means so let's see So let's see. Okay, I picked the good choice then. I smile sadly. It may mean we have to work a little differently to get more points, but I think we can handle it. Because basically what would have happened is if you went with the with the other path, it would put you into a romance and option. However, if you wanted to uh, stay in a friendship, you would have to break the social link. It, it gets weird, so I think it'll probably... I'll, I'll see if it gets explained better later, but anyways. The point is, it's good that I chose what I chose. I'm going home now. Thank you. Listen, I've already had enough with... Persona games throw putting people at the top of school rooftops. Please don't. Oh, welcome home, big bro. Hello. Work as a gender. These are not great vegetables. But they will survive. And then. As always, we just keep putting the corn there. Come on, grow. They will grow. Just give them time. Real quick, I'm gonna look at the guy because I'm trying to figure out when is the next time we go into TV. Uh, the next time we go into TV is around November 11th. I'm trying to think. Do I want to split up this episode? 
You're about to find out because I decide in three, two, one. You know what? Yeah, no. Nah, yeah, I think I will, actually. Might, things, might make things easier for my IRL life stuff. So yeah, we will go ahead and end this episode here. Thank you all so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. I hope to see you all later. Peace.